into um, as for a large-scale attack uh, thwarted. But, you know, they could have resulted in large-scale attacks, like the gas attack uh, uh, that was uncovered in Brooklyn in the New York City subway system that was not thwarted by torture, but was thwarted by the help of the community. Oh, no, I don't yeah. mean torture. I just mean with the global yeah. war on terror. Well, yeah, no, the global war on terror, you know, it is really terrorism only came to the forefront after 9-11 for Americans because it really hit home. Uh, the, and, and, and what I say, what I teach my class is that, you know, in New York City, we forget about all the bombings that happened and the t police officers killed and uh, destruction that happened, you know, all throughout our history, um, sort of forgotten. Um, uh, I, I'm sure there's, you know, uh, there's going to come a point in time, and, and, I, and I'm confident about this, that we'll, we'll tend to forget about some, uh, September 11th all the time. Um, I would agree that a blanket open search warrant on cell phones is not very practical. With technology the way it is today, and our opponents, the terrorists, being able to walk around and pick up and drop phones, and having written search warrants myself and knowing how long they take, how would you suggest law enforcement at any level keep up with the fact that people can just pick up and drop cell phones and use a different cell phone every hour? If I have to go as a cop to get a search warrant for every cell phone, that that guy touches, I'll never get out of the corner. So what would you propose to be the best way for us to be able to surveil an actual target that we have probable cause for who has the ability to switch a phone every hour? The Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act has a secret court. You've heard about this before. The court can uh, operate within 72 hours. Um, if you're capturing a cell phone transmission in real time, that you didn't expect to capture, I would assume that there's an investigation that's been, been pre-approved. So that's one way. You would pre-approve the investigation that would then lead to the cell phone tap. Or you could actually, if, you just, if it just falls into your lap, what you would do is capture the data, not look at it, go to the court, and tell the court, we have this data, we have not reviewed it, here's our probable cause, are we allowed to review it? In other words, do an after-the-fact review with the court. There's nothing wrong with that. And, and, and this would, would allow you to continue your, your surveillance because it would be done in secret. And the ACLU is not in favor of a secret court. What we're saying is at least bring us back to the point we were in 1976, and then we'll deal with the rest. Thank you. Thank you.